Hello everyone, how are you all? I hope you're all well. Um, this is a bit of a collective haul. It's not a very big one either, but I thought I'd pop on and show you because there's a few bargains about. So, um, the first two bits I got were from a charity shop. Um, I'm just trying not to knock everything over. And I paid a pound for both of them, so they were 50p each basically. But first is these little tiny bulldog clips. They come in two designs. And I thought they'd be good for friend mail and also keeping stuff together. Because I love a bulldog clip. And there's loads. And I thought they were quite cute because of the pattern. Um, and yeah, so I've got those. And I also got this. Now I'm kind of tempted to now keep it as it is because I've realised how old it is but this is the um, Sleeping Beauty Waltz and it's just the music paper and I was going to cut it apart but I've realised how old it is by the price of it which is it tells me in here or is it on the back uh, yeah the Marvellous Six Penny Edition so I believe it's quite old um, with d delightful coloured fonts um, and prices 6d each by post 7 stamps each I'm not sure what this means um, but 6d is a sixpence so it clearly is quite old um, but I'm thinking I might still chop it apart because it will still be sort of vintagey to put in there but yeah it was 50p and I thought oh that's quite cool and yeah so I got that from Cornwall Hospice Care next we have some card factory bits and something from Iceland Iceland really boring just these round stick pens they're just a black ballpoint get out those ones they're really comfortable to write with and they're 50p instead of a pound so I picked up a pack because both me and my partner use them next two are these two ribbons um, they're satin ribbons with polka dots so we've got one black with white and one red with white and I thought who doesn't like ribbon basically that's the reason I bought them but they're only 99p each and they did have one of those big bows on the front but I cut them apart and I've just stuffed the ribbon inside the reels just because I won't use the actual big bow but I will use the ribbon so yeah and the last bits are all from B&M which my boyfriend bought me today because it is my four year anniversary today which seems mad it doesn't feel like we've been together for four years but we have <coughs> and there he is sneezing in the middle of my video <laughs> I'm I don't think he's too impressed with himself but it's all good, it doesn't matter I'm just going to have a quick drink I'm not feeling too great today I'm feeling a bit bunged up because the weather's changing so quickly so yeah, these were gifts from him so first off we have these 20 makeup sponges just because I use them for my inks to put through stencils and stuff these are quite cool because, sorry about the noise um, they come with some beauty blenders which is almost perfect because of the density so it comes with two of these and then all of those so and for the cheap price of $1.99 oh, I could not miss that so I got a pack of those eh get in so yeah those for $1.99 then I picked up these and I got a bit excited when I got home and put them straight away put them away straight away so they don't have the, the branding bit up here anymore so I have to cut that off for them to fit in my drawer but these are the alpha stickers that they have up at B&M at the moment and they are only 50p a pack and you do it is double sided 
and you do get a, quite a good selection of numbers and a hell of a good selection really of all of the letters so I picked up four because they're only 50p so I now have enough <laughs> uh, alpha stickers to sink a battleship but for 50p do you know what I mean they're normally 149 which still isn't very expensive but 50p you're gonna take that bargain up and then he bought me two paper pads which I'm gonna have to move everything else to fit them in frame and just hope that it doesn't knock everything off so these were also reduced they were supposed to be 3.99 down to 1.99 so and they are foiled we have this vintage barracue barracue something like that and then I also have this animal adventures so I'll do a quick flick through there's 24 sheets in here 12 foiled 12 black print so let's start at the back for this one okay so we've got this house and this beautiful oh, I love this one and it's pink foiled and we have this cherubs in the black print oh this one in the sort of coppery rose gold oh oh this damask pattern then this sort of purpley swirly design this really super vintage one they're all craft papers as well which is quite nice because i don't use craft very often that same damask pattern but slightly smaller some beautiful florals sort of tile effect some teapots and teacups i can't i can see that it says new york but i can't really read much oh and paris but apart from that i can't really read any of it um I think it just says random places. Another damask pattern in that coppery rose gold. Some more florals. I love this one. It's so dramatic and I love the colour. Beautiful. Some more florals. I think these are poppies. So adorable. This lovely, it's quite a cute pattern because it's not so in your face. More florals. Oh, this frame one. Oh, love it. Um, some vintage sort of english signs um i love the telephone box that's adorable and i like this stamp that says london and the crown i think that's awesome then we've got this pattern some more sort of florals this oh i'm gonna fussy cut that out and mm, mm. i might not i might make some wall art with it because i don't do 12 by 12 anything um and then we have this gold sort of copper foiled floral so that's the vintage barracue, barracru, whatever. Um, and then this Animal Adventures one, which again is supposed to be three ninety nine down to one ninety nine. So we have this paw prints and bones in that copper foiling. We have some monkeys. I think they're super cute. I'm gonna fussy cut them out. Um, then we have this orange foiled one. And I'll just lift it up so you guys can see that it's a tiger surrounded by really little tigers. So one strip of this, I might just have to fussy cut it all out. Then we have this gazelle in sort of a zentangle pattern. And we have this sort of, I'm not sure what pattern you'd call that, sort of fur pattern, I suppose. Then we have these stags in geometric patterns. Can you even see that? There we go. Focus. Is it easier that way? Yeah sort of sorry that i have to hold it this way it's, it won't fit otherwise then we have these fish and this again orange foiling it's really nice then some tortoises i love tortoise i remember when i first seen a giant tortoise then we have all different animals so we've got a bear um a horse a tiger by the looks of things a tiny bird a bunny rabbit i love that one i think it's cute then we have this fox pattern with the geometric sort of sketch to it. Um, again, another one of the um, different animals in the orange falling, just bigger. So we've got a camel, a squirrel, bird, a woodpecker, either a dog or a wolf, a giraffe. But half the giraffe's cut out. I'm a bit upset. Elephant. I love the elephant. 
So I probably fussy cut out a lot of these as well. The dreaded flamingo. I'm not fussy cutting that out. No way. Blech. Hate flamingos. Then we have this horrendous octopus one because it's like the bottom of an octopus. But I thought, meh, I can probably pull that off as flowers. I'm hoping so anyway because I'm not so keen on this one. Then we have this, again, random directional stripe kind of thing. Again, looking like fur. And then we have this stay wild on the ram's head with the trees in between. I really like this one. Then we have a cat in that geometric pattern in the orange foiled. More gazelles and by the looks of things, cheetahs, rhinos, giraffe. Oh, I like that giraffe. Oh, and an alligator. I think I'm going to have to fussy cut this one. Then we have this sort of zebra pattern in the gold, rose gold foil. And some feathers. I love this one. Some cute little cats. Um, alligator print, I guess. Then this beautiful rose gold elephant. Oh, I love it. I'm going to put um, a wild fawn breeze quote on this one, I think, and just have it some more art. Then we have some zebras, or zebras, however you say it, and some bears with the arrows in the mountains and little trees. I really like this one. And then lastly, we have giant feathers, like giant. So, yeah. So they're the things that my boyfriend bought me for our anniversary today. And just some general bits that I've picked up in the last couple of days. Um, if you have a B&M near you, I would honestly go and check out what they have left. Um, because 50p for some alphas, you can't go wrong. Because I believe they're an imitation of some American craft ones. So you can't really turn that up, you know. Um... I will be back very soon with hopefully a scrapbook flip through. Um, my 2018 scrapbook flip through. And I hope you all enjoy your weekend if I don't upload um, my scrapbook video before the weekend. And please like and subscribe and comment down below just to say hello. Thank you all for watching. Bye bye.